For those of you who don't know, I am 33 and I'm still going through puberty. Yeah, I'm just waiting here for the train to come. The, the stop's just right behind me. So yeah, as soon as uh, this live stream finished, I'm just gonna get in the train. So let's get started with the lesson for today. The form we're gonna be learning about, you take an action verb stem and you conjugate it as if you're going to be getting the yo form. And then you attach either kada to go or oda to come. What this does is this shows the direction of a motion verb. It shows the direction that an action verb happens. Sometimes you'll, what this form literally means is to do the action verb and then to go, or to do the action verb and then to come here. So doing and then going somewhere or doing and then coming here. Let me give you an example. First verb is kotta, to walk. As in, to walk in general not anywhere specifically, just in general. So you could say something like, I enjoy walking. You're not saying that you're walking to somewhere. You're not saying that you're walking from somewhere to here. You're just saying that you like walking in general. Kota means to walk just in general, not anywhere, not going somewhere and not coming here. However, koro kada and koro oda. Tonen koro ganen gol chuaheo. I like koro kada, I like walking. Kada, walking there, walking somewhere. If you were to say, I walk to school every morning, to school, perfectly fine. I like korokada, I like to walk. So now you're saying, I like to walk to school, perfect. However, if there is no location, if you're just talking about, I like walking or I walk in general, you cannot use kada or oda with these verbs. You have to use the regular verb. Adding this form to a verb shows the direction that the motion is going for an action verb. So whether that motion is going away from you, kada, somewhere else, or if that motion is coming toward you, oda, coming here. That's what the kada and oda endings do to a verb. Let's do another example. Whenever there's a direction, you need to use either the kada or oda ending for an action verb. Seoul eso, from Seoul, yogikaji, to here, dio wasoyo. I ran here from Seoul. I ran here from Seoul. Seoul eso, yogikaji, to here, dio wasoyo. I ran, as in I ran here. Seoul eso, yogikaji, dio wasoyo. I ran here from Seoul. Dio gar su opsoyo. Dio su opsoyo. Both of these are correct, but their meanings are slightly different. Dio gar su opsoyo. I can't run there. Dio kada. I can't run kada. There, somewhere, going. If, however, you were, to, you were to say, oh, my leg hurts. Dear su opsoyo. I can't run. But now you're emphasizing that you cannot run, just the action of running in general, not to anywhere. You're just saying, oh, I can't physically run. You could say both. Dio kar su opsoyo. I cannot run there. Or just, dear su opsoyo. I cannot run in general. So both of these are okay to say. Just know that they have different meanings. Teryo kada and teryo oda also are products of this same form. Terida means to carry, to bring, but only for humans or animals. Teryo kada, to bring something there, to take it and then go, or to take it and then come. Kangaji, your dog. Teryo kaseo, take your dog and go, as in bring your dog there. Kangaji do teryo useo. Take your dog and come here. Bring your dog here. Kangajido teryo oseo. Bring your dog. Kajo kada comes from kajida. Kajida means to carry or to hold on your person. Patie kwajarer kajo carry some candy, take some candy, kaseo and go. Patie kwajarer kajo kaseo. And one more. Kajo oseo. So now bring it here or kajo wasoyo. I brought it, I had it on my person, and then wasoyo, I came here. I brought snacks here, kwajarer kajo wasoyo. I brought chips here. I put them on my person and then I came here. So kada and oda show the direction of emotion. They show the direction that an action verb happens. Sa kada. So sada to buy. Sa kada to buy and then go somewhere. Sa oda to buy and then bring here. Tega, 저녁을 사 갈게요. I will buy 
dinner for you. Then what's the difference between just saying 사갈게요 or saying 살게요? I will buy you dinner. 제가 저녁을 살게요. I will buy you dinner. 제가 저녁을 사갈게요. I will buy it and then I will go somewhere else. Well, where? This is probably going to be where the other person is. Like, I'll bring you dinner. I'll buy you dinner and bring it there. So not only am I buying you dinner, 살게요, I'm also bringing it to you. I will buy it for you and I will go there. 사갈게요. 제가 저녁을 사갈게요. I'll bring you dinner. I'll buy it for you and I'll bring it to you. Like that. 아버지가 치킨을 사오셨어요. Dad bought chicken. Dad brought chicken home. 아버지가 치킨을 사오셨어요. Dad bought chicken and then 오셨어요. And then he came here. So the motion of buying, direction, is coming here. 사오셨어요. So he bought it and brought it here. 아버지가 치킨을 사오셨어요. So dad brought us chicken. As in, dad bought us chicken. Dad came home with chicken. Let's go on to our next form. And our next form is intermediate level. It is the exact same conjugation as what we just did. First thing I should say, there will always be a space added before the kada or oda part. So between the conjugation and kada or oda, you will have to add a space. Hada conjugated becomes he, kada, or oda. Here, there is a space, notice. Much better. It shows that there is a continuing action, an action that continues. The action verb that you use with this form continues from now into the future. This is like saying it continually until the into the future. It continues to do something. Ah, no matter how much I exercise, my weight keeps going up. That sort of continually. Into the future, my weight's always going up. An action verb that you use here continues from now and into the future and just keeps going. So being used with kada here is not the direction physically, but the direction in time from now until somewhere else. So I'm doing it and then going off, not there, but going off into the future. Think about it like that. So you can use it with verbs like 되다. How is your project going? 잘 되다. To go well. Like, is it okay? Is it going okay? So our direction now is no longer a physical place, but it's just in the future, like out into the future that way. Is it? Is it going okay? Like, is, it's it's go, it's all going okay? You predict into the future, it's still gonna go okay? 잘 돼, 가고 있어요? Like, is it going on okay? It's going okay? 잘 돼, 가고 있어요? So is it going well? Is the direction it's going good into the future? 잘 돼, 가고 있어요? Is it going well? Whatever it is, project, your homework, your studies, finding a job, learning Korean. 잘 돼, 가고 있어요? Is it going well? 운동을 안 하고. I didn't do exercise and 먹기만 했더니. So I only ate. 몸무게가, my body weight, 늘어 가다. Increases out and keeps going. 늘어 가고 있어요. My weight just keeps increasing. 운동을 안 하고 먹기만 했더니. So I didn't do any exercise and I only ate and as a result, 몸무게가 늘어가고 있어요. My body weight is increasing continually into the future. I didn't exercise and I only ate. And as a result, my body weight is continuing to increase. 운동을 안 하고 먹기만 했더니 몸무게가 늘어가고 있어요. 탐다 means to resemble. And it's used in the past tense. 우리 집 고양이가 강아지를 닮았다. My cat looks like a dog. 닮아가다 to resemble and continually resemble more and more going toward the future resembling 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 우리 집 고양이가 강아지를 닮아가고 있어요 my cat is looking more and more like a dog every day my cat continually is looking more like a dog 우리 집 고양이가 강아지를 닮아가고 있어요 looking like a dog and continually looking like a dog into the future that's what it means so our cat is continually looking more like a dog every day our cat is looking more like a dog 우리 집 고양이가 강아지를 닮아가고 있어요. 앞으로도 from now on 한국어를 계속 공부할 거예요. I'm going to keep studying Korean from now on. I'm going to keep studying Korean from now continually. 계속. Perfect sentence. So 공부해 갈 거예요. I'm going to continue on studying Korean. Not just from now I'm going to keep studying Korean, but I'm going to continue from now on into the future. I'm going to keep studying Korean. 앞으로도 한국어를 계속 공부해 갈 거예요. From now into the future, 
I will continue to study Korean. So if you didn't use hey kada, it still means I'm going to keep studying Korean. This shows that this studying is going to go somewhere into the future. So you're emphasizing that, well, it's not just studying in general. I'm not just going to study in general now. I'm going to keep studying into the future continually. So the direction you're going is outward into the future. 앞으로도 한국어를 계속 공부해 갈 거예요. That's enough of kada. The next form we're going to be doing is oda. Again, we are not talking about location now. This is about time. So this shows that some sort of action which started in the past continues up until today. This action might or might not still be happening today, but the point is that the action started in the past and came until now. Oda. So it's just like kada from now going into the future, but now we have from the past all the way until now. Anytime you want to emphasize that the action started in the past and has been continuing until now, use oda. So this action that started over there in time now comes to here in time. 한국어를 오랫동안 공부해 왔어요. 한국어를 오랫동안 공부해 왔어요. I have been studying Korean for a long time. I've been learning Korean now for 15 years. 한국어를 15년 동안 공부해 왔어요. So I've been studying, I have been, I started in the past, and for 15 years, 15년 동안, I have been continually studying up until today. So I have been studying. 한국에서 3년 동안 살아왔어요. Up until now, I have been living for three years in Korea. 한국에서 3년 동안 살아왔어요. I have been living in Korea for three years, from the past, for a period of three years, continually living in Korea, up until now. I have been living in Korea for three years. Instead of just 살았어요, I lived in Korea for three years. 한국에서 3년 동안 살아왔어요. 이 회사에서 10년 동안, for 10 years, 일해 왔어요. I have been working at this company for 10 years. Gosh darn it, I know what I'm talking about. I deserve that promotion. 이 회사에서 10년 동안 일해 왔어요. 이 회사에서 10년 동안 일해 왔어요. So I have been working from the past up until today for 10 years. And our last sentence for today. 이 순간을 this moment 기다려 왔어요. I have waited for this moment from the past continually up until now. I have waited for this moment. 이 순간을 기다려 왔어요. What, what, what do I hear? Oh no! No! That's my train! Wait! Wait! And I will see you guys again next time. Kram, Tamitoba!